how damaging is this? It's, you know, we knew all of this, a lot of it over the years. It's a reminder though of how ugly it is and a look behind the curtain kind of, of the process and how the Trump campaign, according to David Pecker, worked directly with him and the National Enquirer to get these stories planted that could be damaging to his, uh, his opponents in 2016. Hello and welcome back all of you amazing 156,000 subscribers. I'd very much like to get more of you coming back and watching again, so make sure to keep checking back for more short and long form videos. Today's clip, you're just gonna have to see it for yourself. The lack of self-awareness on display is mind blowing and proves the it's different when we do it meme true once again. With these MSNBC goons carving themselves out a little exception from their own outrage. As they wring their hands about Trump and the Inquirer, supposedly colluding before the 2016 election. This has just come out in his New York trial where a former publisher for the Enquirer testified that he worked with Trump to put out stories attacking his political opponents. Gee, where have we seen that before? And how the Trump campaign, according to David Pecker, worked directly with him and the National Enquirer to get these stories planted that could be damaging to his, uh, his opponents in 2016. What did you hear in that testimony yesterday? Which way did it cut for you? So I think there's both a legal aspect to that, and I think there's sort of a big picture um, aspect that might be viewed as sort of a political repercussions aspect. I thought what David Pecker said was truly shocking. I respectfully disagree. Real quick, let's remember that we're talking about the National Enquirer here, which is a tabloid that openly pays for stories and can hardly be considered a news outlet that anyone would take seriously. Also, everything he just said sounds exactly like what they do, right? Yes. They, and most of our media for that matter, run negative stories about the Democrats and Biden's political opponents. Our former free press has basically become part of Joe Biden's campaign. Am I wrong here? Let me know in the comments. And the only reason that I think we're maybe a little bit um, inured to what he had to say is because of Fox News and Dominion. Just let's you step back. What he said was that a media outlet, even if it's considered maybe a down market uh, media outlet, was in cahoots with one political candidate. Um, that is what happens in Russia. That is not what is supposed to happen here. Oh, you don't say. Holy shnikes. Are you serious right now? That's what I've been saying for the last four years. What our media does on behalf of one party, the Democrats, and one candidate, Joe Biden, is what we would expect to see in Russia. The sitting president, his DOJ lackeys, and the state media working to charge and imprison their opponent before an election so that we can't vote for him, or at least to rig it in their favor, is what I would expect to see in Russia. Oh, that was different. And frankly, what you would see in Russia is the entire state media working on behalf of Putin and his supporters. Conversely, we had Trump working with a two-bit tabloid to put out fake stories that everyone already knew were fake because they came from an openly fake news tabloid. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But get ready, because this state media goon is going to have a quick moment of clarity that is quickly fixed by his different when we do it programming. That is not what is supposed to happen here. Um, you may accuse, for instance, uh, news outlets for having biases, but that is far different. He's in, boys! He did it! He said it! <laughs> that is far different than having an explicit agreement with a candidate to only promote stories that help him, to squash stories that would hurt him, and to disseminate stories um, that are denigrating your political opponents. Something very familiar about all this. That is quite literally, word for word, what our state media is doing on behalf of Democrats and Joe Biden in America right now. In the last election, they intentionally suppressed bad news about Biden that they falsely said was Russia disinfo, but turned out to be real. The media had no problem at all going along with Joe Biden's scheme to get 51 intelligence experts to lie and claim that news was Russia disinformation as a pretext for the censorship and suppression of it. Again, something we'd expect to see in Russia. Look, we don't need a signed document here. There's an obvious mutual agreement between the Democrats, Joe Biden, and the state media that if their opponent wins, then democracy is over. If the Democrats fail, it might be the end of American democracy. I think we're one election away from the end of American democracy. If they take over in 2022, 
That is the end of democracy, and we're going to have authoritarianism. I hope that we can flip this and save democracy. If we can't, I got to, you know, I got to believe that fascism will take over in America, and that will be the death of democracy. The potential death of democracy. The death of democracy. The death of democracy. The death of democracy as we know it. This protest now is not simply about the death of George Floyd. It's about the death of American democracy, decency, and humanity. I'm sad to say that it also can lead to the, uh, the diminishment of democracy if not its death. It almost feels like we are witnessing the, the death of democracy here. The death of democracy line stood out to me, Jonathan, because I think that's just factually correct. Kind of the end of democracy, at least the end of our democracy. The return of Donald Trump to the White House could spell the end of democracy in America. We could have a Trump presidency, and that would, in my opinion, be the end of democracy in this country. I think that could be the end of our democracy, not to be too... You know, pointed about it. Hillary Clinton said a couple of weeks ago that if he runs and wins, that could be the end of our democracy. Do you share that fear? I do. Are you going to stand by and watch this man destroy the democracy? I hope he will be beaten or else it's the end of uh, democracy as we know it. That will be the end of democracy as we know it. Shut up! Which gives them the rationalization to do whatever the hell they want, but see it as different when they do it. A carved out exception from their own rules. Literally every person on that screen is a Democrat who voted for and is promoting Joe Biden on a daily basis. They might as well be working for his campaign and are the very same people legitimizing his charging and imprisonment of his political opponents before an election. Again, something we'd expect to see in Russia. Oh, you're right. And when you're right, you're right. And you, you're always right. What do you all think? Am I crazy here? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. All right, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching and make sure to keep checking back for more.